All right, Albert, thank you. We'll see you in a few. Well, this rain did have researchers at UTSA very excited. They're taking advantage of all the extra water to see how well they can decontaminate it and replenish our drinking supply. As News 4 San Antonio's Andrew Lafome explains, the Edwards Aquifer granted them almost $43,000 to do so. This is a lot more than just a parking lot. We're standing over the recharge zone for the Edwards Aquifer. Now that provides all the drinking water for us here in San Antonio. Now this parking lot is designed to direct all the water into the sand filter basin. Now with the help of this box, another one just like it, they hope to make this filter system right here a whole lot more effective. Well, last night we collected four samples uh, of water. This is where you'll find Dr. Marcio Giacomoni and his team at UTSA after a storm. It's the first step. That's what we call the first flush. This box is connected right to the parking lot. The first flush he's talking about contains most of the pollution in the runoff left over from the cars. Behind the natural sand filter is another box just like it. So you can see that the water now is clear. This box holds the water that's been through the sand filter basin. The rest of it is sent downstream. By comparing the results from either box, these researchers can tell how effective the sand basin is. That's done back on campus in the lab as time works against them. The water quality might change if it sits too long in, inside of the bottles. Back at the lab is where we met research assistant Travis Lung. So this is our cold storage walk-in. First the water is cool. Once we've gathered all the samples. And then tested eight different ways to check its purity with both the before and after samples. We got all kinds of tools around the lab. The ultimate goal is for less man-made infrastructure to improve the process of making our water drinkable. Let nature kind of take account for uh, filtering our water and making it better, putting it back into the aquifer fresher and quicker. At UTSA, Andrew Lafome, News 4 San